Hello there, Erner here and today we will talk about Hector and the competitive battles. So, if you want to play Hector in meta, you will need to know that you really should be playing Hector's Chosen all the time. They are very good thanks to their immune flanking and their pretty good solid stats. So this will be your elite core. Uh, to support them you can choose uh, some good solid front lines and I don't recommend bringing too much of them and a lot of killing will be done by Hector's Chosen. Uh, for hero you either choose Hector uh, or otherwise you choose the Ravager for Terrify and Bad Sacrifice. For missiles I would bring archers for very fast skirmishing or renowned archer for more stationary uh, combat for long range combat. They might have just 160 range but you will have to deal with that. The other, otherwise these units have pretty solid DPS. As Hector you want to bring chariots for sure. Then. In the truth mod, we can decide to bring Corivantes. Corivantes are very solid spear frontline. They are similarly st strong as Hector's Chosen. Even though Corivantes has been slightly nerfed, they are still pretty strong thanks to their shield war formation. So, uh, we know which units are pretty strong and how to build the army. Let's have a look at the map. Uh, the map is having uh, quite nice uh, trees and open field. So one chariot will be doing well on this uh, open field. We are able to use this middle uh, mountain as as a, to protect our flanks. So. What will we bring? We will always bring Hector's Chosen. We can decide to go with Corybantis. And I want to I want to go with very fast build. Which means we are going to use archers. They are much faster than the renowned archers. For hero, I think our elite units will be doing well so I will be boosting them with the blood sacrifice and then I need some fodder some more units to bring then we got money for let's bring for example this guy uh, even though the speed is just 37 uh, but when we go 200 millimod this unit will be useful and very fast it will have 42 speed so it will be able to catch up with the Jack Hector's Chosen and Corybantis. So as I mentioned this would be a very fast mobile build and we sh got money for one extra unit. We us in general we want more infantry uh, to support our missiles and to support our other units. So let's see how wisely can we spend money. And I think we would be able to go to battle like this. So our battle plan is relatively simple. Uh, and I will shortly tell you how would I approach this map? So, one common battlefield is area right here. Uh, usually, people contest uh, this forest. Enemy will definitely want to go inside the forest and then be protected. And we can go ahead and challenge him to go forward we, we can try to do flanking around like this. The second op approach is 
on this open field. If opponent is more likely to be on the open field, we are going to place our chariot here and and make a, a wide line. So let's say, okay, so we got very fast mobile units. We will want to quickly get this uh, forest, which usually will be covered. And we want our chariot somewhere here. So, okay, how, and now I will just make a example how would I deploy my units. So, got idea how to use your, uh, we got some forest here. That's perfect, we can hide our units right here. Uh, I want enemy to see my fodder units. Focus on them. We want to do some skirmishing. We want chariots to be ready. Hero is fine. Okay, I will need Corybantis to be right here, to to be hidden, and then go right here. So I want to make impression that I am more likely to be on this side. So, what is this? Yeah. This one, the only guy with shields, other fodder is not having shields, so... I want enemies to be shooting Milsha Warband as the first target. That's why I will use it closer to the forest where enemy might very likely to start. Okay, do I want to scout? Yes, I want to have one scouting guy here. Maybe we can have this scouting unit here but since we are going to quickly conquer the forest we don't have to do that and I will need this unit to hold enough for my archers then we got the guards of Troy 41 speed pretty good very much needed to be very mobile so that would be it. We would be quickly moving forward and then the rest is up to you. So this this is all about the Hector and how to play in the meta. Don't forget to use Blood Sacrifice and don't forget to use Shield Wall Formation. And I think you will be very fine with this roster. That's all, see you later.